better place. We have what it takes to make our world a better place. We are smart at what we do to make our world a better place. We are smart at what we do to make our world discuss uh, how to calculate enthalpy of neutralization. Enthalpy of neutralization. A neutralization reaction is a reaction between an acid and a base and the product is usually water plus another salt. So a, a neutralization reaction is a reaction that reacts an acid and a base react to form salt and water. Water must be formed. Now, uh, when you're calculating enthalpy neutralization, first of all, uh, you're going to find the mass, use the formula, enthalpy change is equal to mass of the solution multiplied by capacity, heat capacity, or specific heat capacity multiplied by change in temperature written as delta T. Now, I'm going to use a sample question to discuss how you get enthalpy of uh, neutralization. In our question we have 50 cubic centimeters of 2 molar uh, sodium hydroxide were added to 50 cubic centimeters of 2 molar hydrochloric acid. The temperature of the resulting solution increases by 5 degrees. So here we have 50 cubic centimeters of sodium hydroxide are added to 50 cubic centimeters of hydrochloric acid the temperature of the resulting solution increases by 5 degrees. So let's find what is the volume of the resulting solution. You get the volume by adding 50 cubic centimeters of HCl. Then you add 50 cubic centimeters of uh, sodium hydroxide. The total volume is 100 cubic centimeters. Now, knowing that the density of the mixture is 1 gram per cubic centimeter, so the mass of this solution becomes 100 grams. The mass is 100 grams. Now, our capacity shall be given in kilograms. Therefore, we convert these grams into kilograms by dividing 100 grams by a thousand. We make them 0 0.1 kilogram. So the mass of our solution is 0 0.1 kilograms. So enthalpy change, you get it by 0 0.1 kilogram. That is the mass multiplied by capacity. The specific heat capacity is always constant, is 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram per Kelvin. Uh, our temperature change, delta T, uh, comes to the mixture, the temperature of the mixer increased by 5 degrees. Remember, when you calculate the enthalpy, you change degrees into Kelvin. Therefore, uh, our Delta T becomes 5 Kelvin. So to get enthalpy, you multiply mass, capacity, uh, delta T. When you do that, uh, you get a, a mass of, you get an enthalpy of 2.1 kilojoules. 
That is our enthalpic change of the reaction is 2.1 kilojoules. Now, remember, the solution increased the temperature. So the temperature increased. Anytime the temperature increases in a reaction, that type of reaction is an exothermic reaction which is given a negative sign. So our enthalpy change is negative 2.1 kilojoules. Let's get the molar heat change of neutralizing heat here. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to calculate how many moles of HCl reacted. Moles of HCl that reacted. We used uh, we used 50 cubic centimeter of molarity 2 molar divided by a thousand. Your answer becomes 0 0.1 moles. So the moles of uh, HCl that were displaced, uh, that were neutralized, were 0 0.1 moles. Therefore, to get the molar heat change, you come and say this, if 0 0.1 moles of HCl, when, when uh, neutralized, they produce negative 2.1 kilojoules. What if we displace one mole? When you displace one mole, the enthalpy is what we call molar heat of uh, neutralization. Therefore, your answer becomes 21 kilojoules per mole. The answer is 21 kilojoules per mole. Then, uh, on to the next question, we are drawing the energy level diagram. We draw the energy level diagram. To do that energy level diagram, uh, you draw the x and y axis. X and y axis. This is energy in terms of kilojoules. This is reaction progress. Then we, our reaction is an exothermic reaction, that is, it has a negative figure. So, therefore, this is HCl plus sodium hydroxide. The product is uh, sodium chloride plus water. Aqueous liquid, then the enthalpic change is that which is negative 21 kilojoule per mole. That is how you draw an energy level diagram. The arrow points downwards since energy is being lost. That is why we have a negative uh, sign. Then write the ionic equation for the reaction. Ionic equation for the reaction will be HCl plus sodium hydroxide. You get sodium chloride plus water, which is aqueous, aqueous and liquid. In our case, uh, Chlorine and fluorine cancel, sodium and sodium cancel. Therefore, the ionic equation becomes ionic equation becomes hydrogen is plus OH that you get water. That is the ionic equation. Hydrogen ions react to hydroxyl ions to form water. The source of error. In this experiment, remember your 
uh, you're using a plastic beaker. Sometimes uh, plastic absorbs heat. So one of the error, source of error is uh, the apparatus absorbs some of the heat produced in the reaction. Number two, some of the heat is lost to the surrounding. Uh, the third thing is during thermometer reading, there could be an error when you read thermometer. Therefore, thermometer reading can be a source of error. Then heat can be lost to the environment or heat is absorbed by the apparatus. That marks the end of our lesson. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson.